If you play Roblox, listen up. This new way of getting Robux is insane. Click on the like button in the next 5 seconds. If you never have enough Robux, keep watching. You do not want to be like this bacon. Have you ever wanted to buy something and you can't? Well, guess what? I'm giving away loads and loads of Robux on the daily. So make sure you click on the subscribe button with notifications on. And most importantly, make sure you comment down below your Roblox username with your favorite game. I will be choosing random winners in the comments down below. And these giveaways are done with please donate offline donations. Now, look out for the secret code in this video. Yo guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we will be showing you every single new working code in Ice Fishing Simulator. I've been playing this game for a little bit and um, I, did, I did a little bit of grinding, you know. But I came to a point to the game where the game is just not fun anymore. So uh, this is probably the last time that I will play the game. Anyways, uh, let's remove these campfires because I do need to open my chests that I have caught. There you go. If you if you're lucky, you can you can get one of these chests from fishing. So you can literally unlock one of these chests from fishing in the fishing hole, which is very simple. And then you gotta open them. You can open them once an hour, and then you can pretty much remove them because they're not they're not useful at all. Two percent luck is just not it. Okay, two percent luck is just not not it. I can put my campfires down. There you go. All the campfires. Because you do need luck, okay? You do need luck. Let's light them up. Shabang, shabang. Oh, let's see my luck go up. To get my luck up. There you go. There you go. My luck. So, I'll be literally explaining you everything which you need to know in this game. Which is very simple. I'll be also redeeming all the new working codes. Uh, but I, if I do want to progress through this game, I gotta like buy the auto sell, auto sell thingy in the shop to auto sell fish which is which is actually gonna take forever to get because you can only get it with gems and i did unlock the mine with the key there you go we got the luck we have 500 percent luck with a campfire setup this is the only campfire setup i did buy a couple build slots which is 1k gems so you can buy these build slots for 1k gems and increase your luck which is very nice and uh, I can pretty much fish for mythical f for these. Um, what's it called? I can fish for the for the red fish. I can fish for the red fishes. This is the biggest shark that I caught so far. Uh, but it's uh, it's just one day of playing this game, which is not that impressive. Um, there you go. And I'm gonna be literally explaining you everything that you need to know in this game. Oh, uh, there is a golden key. There is a golden key. Um, that you have to get to unlock the gem mines so if you're fishing and you're looking for a key you can actually fit like you can you can get one of these keys out of your fish hole so there you go i'm gonna i'm gonna get this fishy i think it's a golden one it's gonna be a yellow one there you go a yellow a yellow fishy um there's there is yellow fish which are like almost the best there's red fish there is there is these uh, purple fish, blue fish, and the worst ones are the gray and the, the green ones. So you can actually tell, you can tell by, yeah, this is a bad fish, so I can just skip this. I can just skip the bad fishes. You can tell how much they're pulling down, you see? The first pill is always the, the worst one, okay? Let's see. Yeah, this is, a, this is a purple, this is a purple fish. I can tell that this is a purple fish, okay? Okay, it's a green fish. Never mind. Um. Anyways, I'm going to show you the gem mine. If you if you uh, get one of these keys out of your fish hole, it's not gonna move down. And when it's not gonna move down, it's a chance that you're gonna get a chest or a key. And when you unlock the key, you just gotta walk up to this cave, press E to use the key, and then you unlock the cave. That's pretty much how you get the the cave. And this is where you get the gems. So this is this is where the game pretty much ends. This is pretty much where the game ends because all you gotta do is mine these gems for hours upon hours, which I don't have the patience to do so because it's just boring. Okay, gameplay is just boring. I, I just don't want to do it. The other the other way of getting gems is doing your daily quests, which are pretty easy. You can do the the cave obby, you can do the trail, and you can fish in another player's thing. Catch three Arctic chars. This is pretty easy. So right now you just gotta do the daily quest for a week, like more than a week pretty much. More than a week. 
And then if you're if you're pretty much fishing for a week straight, you can finally buy yourself um the items in the store that that are actually gonna progress your gameplay. Because right now I'm just stuck and I don't wanna mine gems for the whole day. So if you put down a bunch of campfires, you're gonna be um you're gonna be at 500 luck. All these campfires give you like 20%, 18%. If there's more wood on your campfire, you're gonna get more percent. But there you go, there you go. A lot of, a lot of luck. And also put down the trophy, put down the trophy for 35% luck. There's an infinite campfire for 27% luck that you can buy with gems. Also, these things give you luck, but it's not that much. These things also give you luck, and that's pretty much how you get a lot of luck in this game. And the more luck you have, the more red fish and yellow fish you're gonna catch. The more profit you're gonna make. And the more like things you can buy, but the, the next things that I'm gonna buy are a little bit too expensive, okay? So let's go and redeem some of these new fi ice fishing codes. There is the auto auto rarity code. There you go. Auto rarity. Redeem the first code. Shabang. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over every single code really quickly because I don't have a lot of time. I actually don't have a lot of time. Just gonna go through these quickly. There you go. Access. I got a tanks code. Boom. I got a ice code. Boom. Ice code. Oh, there you go. And we got a fish code. Fish code. And there is a wild, wild guest games code. There you go. And we got a snow code. So with these codes, you're gonna unlock a lot of gems. You can. You can spend the gems however you like. You can buy more build slots, which is actually the best way. If you think about it really quickly, this is the best way to, to get more luck by buying more places. Like if you buy a lot of places, you can have a lot of campfires, you can have a lot of luck just running for you. You can also buy the, the infinite campfire, which is going to be huge at early stage, but it's going to cap out. It's going to cap out. I would rather spend my gems on um, more build space right now because... I can buy more build space and I can actually just have way more way more um luck with this setup. So this is a pretty cheap setup compared to the to the other items in the game. If you want to buy the other items in the game, it's gonna cost you way more. Like every campfire is 25,000, So you can buy a lot of campfires with um 250k coins. And you can get that pretty easily by just grinding the game, just catching a lot of fishies. So these are all the working codes. You can get the key by literally fishing for it. And if you don't want to like look for the fishes, if you want to AFK, you just turn off the default lay, like turn off the default thing. Um, the hook doesn't matter. Get a bamboo rod, and just get the worst one. Just get the worst thing, uh, worst thing in your inventory, and there you have it. Now you can just just fish, and it's gonna auto fish pretty much. The fish is going down, so I don't have any um any chest or any key. So it's gonna go down. So now you can just AFK, pretty much AFK until the thing is stuck. If the fish doesn't go down, then you got a key or a chest. So that's how you can tell. That's pretty much how you can tell um how you get a key or a chest. But uh, other than that, you can just fish normally, and you're gonna you're gonna get the same thing. Um, it's pretty easy. This is the worst fish, by the way. Yeah, I can tell. I can already tell. This is the worst, worst fish in the game. So right now, you just gotta buy these auto fishing machines for 500k each, which is um actually pretty good. So the the, the plan of the game is pretty much you buy these auto fishing machines for 500k and buy the telescopes, buy the telescopes, buy the auto fishing machines. So these are the auto fishing machines. These are 500k, and then you have to buy the telescopes. This gives the same amount of luck as the campfires, but this is way more expensive. This is, I believe this is 250k. So this is 10 times more expensive than a campfire, but it gives the same luck. But you don't have to refuel the camp. You don't have to refuel this. That's the only catch. So actually you have to buy, um, my next goal is to buy this box, which is 30,000 gems or something like that. And I just don't want to farm the gems it's just taking way too long anyways uh, I, I hope there's like a better way to get gems in this game because with the space you gotta get the dailies done it's gonna give you a thousand gems you have to do this like 30 times it's gonna take forever anyways 
these are literally all the new working codes in the game and a quick little setup for you guys to uh, to have a lot of luck and you can actually catch a mythical like the the mythical fish in the game i can show you a quick way to catch these mythical fishes right here let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and show you because i can tell when there's a mythical fish just gonna catch your rod okay shebang okay you can you can just literally tell that this is a legendary fish by how fast it goes down you see it goes it's go down fast and it goes two times and repeat like another one another one another one so it goes very fast um two times like down and it's not a glitchy so it's not a red fish it's not a red fish it's a um it's a yellow fish there you go you got a yellow fish okay okay we got a red fish you get a red fish look at that it's gonna go three times down one two three bang it's a yellow one it's a red one so you have one long pull and then three short pills you see three short pills one long pull and then three short ones shabang 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 three short ones and this is a red one it's a shark there you go we got a shark red shark this is, this is pretty much how you can tell if it's a red fish or a yellow fish oh it's a quick explanation you can like fill up your chest with only red fish it's gonna take you a while and the chest is gonna be like 200k uh, which i did sell yesterday i i saw the whole chest of yellow of of red fish and it was like above 200k which was which was very uh very cool to do so it's like a little challenge in game that you can do but anyways um this is pretty much how the best way you can play the game you just buy a bunch of campfires just buy a bunch of build space buy a bunch of build space campfires and put them all around this is like the beginner set this is the beginner setup if you're a beginner this is the beginner setup for instant luck with this setup you can grind for the the red fishing rods and if you have if you have max red fishing rods you can go um to the diamond mines and then you can you can literally farm money and jams at the same time pretty much and you can buy the the auto sell fish thing and then it's it's all afk from there so that's pretty much where my my game ends i'm pretty much done with the game guys i'm i'm done i'm gonna quit the game right now i i think i did everything uh, that i wanted to do i don't want to get on the leaderboards because i know i can but i just don't want to uh, i'm gonna go play some different games or uh, so peace out